What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lime SC here, and today we're going to be talking about a Frost Fire Amazon. This is going to be an Amazon using both Exploding Arrow and Freezing Arrow. So with that being said, let's jump into it. I'm hoping to guide you through everything you need to know about the Amazon, the build, uh, the mercenary, the gear, the stats, all that stuff right there for you. So starting out, here's her Amazon, her starting stats, uh, her vitality gain per life po or life gain per vitality point, her overall life per character level, and all of her frames down in the bottom right. I will explain what those are a little bit later, but there you can see them. It's important to note, so take a picture or just come back to this. Uh, now let's jump in to the final skills tree for this character. If we bring it up right here, this is roughly what it's going to look like. This is at level 99 minus 17, so what, 82? Um, this, so this is at level 82. Uh, and you kind of have 17 skill points to play with once you kind of go from there. This is going to be using Freezing Arrow, Cold Arrow, Exploding Arrow, and Fire Arrow, as these are your main two damage sources. And then you have these uh, just for synergies. Then you can max out Valkyrie if you wanted to do something like that, or get close to maxing her, um, one point in Pierce, and just kind of everything there. So once again, you kind of have these points to play with. Valk is kind of up to you, but I like having a Valk on this sort of character. She's very nice and very helpful for it overall. In terms of leveling for this character, oops, let me get rid of that. In terms of leveling for this character, I would do something like this, where I would start out with Exploding Arrow. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me get rid of the... These are adding too many plus skills for us right now. We'll put that on the ground. Um, so I would do this, 7, 8, right, until I'm level 9, and then at 10 and 11 I go here, and then I'm just maxing out Exploding Arrow from this point, um, and so I'll just keep going with Exploding Arrow. Then at level 30 I can choose to add in a Freezing Arrow point if I want, or I can actually respec in uh, to Freezing Arrow at this point, which I kind of like doing, so around like, let's say I'm 33, uh, I'm going to have like 4 points here. I'm going to have four points over in Pierce. You could go for a Valkyrie right now if you wanted. Um, if not, you can just put these points into Cold Arrow to just boost up your Freezing Arrow. Because I like having Freezing Arrow kind of great through the later end of Nightmare, the later stages. And then once you're leveling up, then you can start putting the points into Exploding Arrow. And obviously you've been leveling up. Sorry, let me redo that there. Um, you're going to have... These points here, and you'll put the rest there, whatever it is. Then as you level up, first thing you're going to do is you're going to max out Freezing Arrow, right? So we get this maxed out. Then once you have this maxed, you're level like 48, whatever it is, 49. Then you can come over here and start maxing out Exploding Arrow as you're leveling up in Nightmare. Great way to do that there. And then you can start putting some points in Fire Arrow and Cold Arrow as you would like for your synergies. And of course, you will still have these points right there, right? So you can have these start going for your synergies. And you can just bounce back and forth between using Exploding and Freezing Arrow, depending on if you run into Cold Immune, Fire Immune, you know, whatever the monsters are. Um, pretty much simple like that. So that's kind of your leveling right there. Um, for stats-wise, you're going to want to have... Roughly 25 strength to start out. Um, this is what I like to go up to just so I can wear a belt. Uh, dexterity, I'm not going to put any points into. This is because Exploding Arrow and Freezing Arrow don't require the arrow to actually hit to explode. So you don't really care about the attack rating at all. Um, and then the rest in Vitality. Though, if you would like, you can totally put a few points into Energy because it is nice. There is a lot of mana cost. You can see this costs 18.5 mana per shot here. This is 14.5 mana per shot here. Every level they go up, they cost more. So you're going to burn out of Energy or burn out of mana very quickly. So I actually don't mind having some points in Energy at the start for this character. Um kind of nice for all of that once you get past that though uh and you and you start getting towards later game gear you're going to want to have enough dexterity and strength for your gear and everything else jammed into vitality so that's going to be your kind of end game stats and this is what i believe mine look like once we gear up this character which we can start doing get a torch get an annie get some basics and you can just kind of start putting on some basic stuff for your gear right now uh, and then go from there so we need a little bit more let's see and charms and things like this can help out with all of this stuff um, so you can kind of adjust 
as you go from there. And Mara's. And we're just short, it looks like. It's a little dexterity. For the faith. So this is what I would say is kind of the best uh, endgame gear for this character. You could have a little bit of a difference overall. But really we're looking for a lot of plus to skills. So you get two to all skills, three to bow and crossbow skills. And you get the fanaticism, which is very nice just to get that increased speed. Faith is a great bow for this. Shaco gets two to all skills. COH gets two to all skills. Mara is two to all skills. Two, two to bow and crossbow skills uh, with IAS or 320s would also be great here. SOJ is great. Um, Razor Tail for all of the pierce because this is going to stack with this. So I have 82% plus this is 33%. That puts me over 100% for pierce. Cannot be frozen from Raven Frost, and you get the dexterity is nice. And then I like Trex for the strength, vitality, um, and then the FHR as well. So really, this is like a solid build. Um, and then you'll want to run some plus to bow and crossbow. Where'd my bow and crossbow skiller go? Oh, there it is. It's on the ground. You'll want to run some plus to bow and crossbow um, GCs, obviously your Torch and Annie, and then you can get some like life mana, small charms, or whatever it is that you can find for all of that stuff. So this is what I would say is kind of the best stuff. If you want to focus a little more on Freezing Arrow, you could maybe put a Nightwings on. You could also run an Ice if you really wanted for this character. You still, you know, you can put this in three bow and crossbows and have that very nice. Um, but that's kind of up to you, whatever you feel like. Uh, using right there. I like Faith since we're also going into the Exploding Arrow as well. Um, it's kind of a little bit better of a mix. And same with the Shaco, you're getting the skills. Uh, but you get the Life Mana, DR, all that extra stuff. Whereas this is going to focus on getting a little bit of extra cold skill damage right there. So kind of up to you, whatever it is that you would like. Uh, in terms of some alternative things, uh, one thing for sure is we can go right into the Mav set which is actually a fantastic set. If you look, three to Amazon skills right there, another skill right there, that's four, another two to bow and crossbow skills, that's six to bow and crossbows just from this. You're also getting 50 all res, um, 25 all res, 25 all res, so 100 all resistances from this, and you get the strength, the dex, the MF, all the other stuff as well, plus a little bit of added cold skill damage right here. This is actually a fantastic set to use with this character. I, it was built for Frost Maiden or Frost Fires on for sure, definitely recommended. In terms of other budget gear as well, um, you can look for a stealth starting early on, a twitch throw is, gr is great as well if you find it. Peace has plus to skills. Smoke with resistances. Treachery would be good because you can get the IIS. Um, so if you get a non-eth treachery, you can get the IIS, the fade, uh, and even some little venom, whatever. But, I mean, just really, really good right there. Because we're just trying to shoot fast and uh, with a lot of plus to skills. Other things would be Viper Magi, Q Hagen's for plus to skills. Or something like Durial Shell or Spirit Shout would actually be fantastic. Skills and cannot be frozen. That is very, very good. In terms of other bows, something like an Edge Bow early could be really nice. A Melody could be really nice. A Harmony could be okay. Um, you know, getting stuff with uh, big IAS, getting stuff um, with plus to skills like a Lycander's Aim. Right, these would just be really nice for this character. Massive IES for a gold strike, that could be super nice as well for your character, uh, whatever it is. In terms of belts, gold wrap is really good, a little IES on it. Nosferatos is great with some IES if you can't get Mavina, uh, or I mean Razor Tail. Um, Death's Guard, just for Cannot Be Frozen, if you can't find it anywhere else. Night Smoke is decent. Cannot Be Frozen on Trang Owls can be really good. Um, but even something simple like a Life Belt that you can just shop in, you know, Nightmare or Hell from one of the vendors is very, very solid. Uh, shields don't matter, because uh, we're a Boson. Helmets, Mana Per Kill is super good for this character, because we need a lot of mana, so I love that. Anything with mana per kill like this is good. Um, if you need resistances, you can literally just shove Rouse, Orts, and Thols into helmets and just get res there. Put it in an Irathus as well. That works. Or anything simple like plus one to skills Tarnhelm. Plus skills from a Peasant Crown. Uh, plus skills from a Lore. Once again, this can be made from Nightmare Countess. Super easy. Or something super solid like a Rock Stopper. I love this item right here. Great helmet overall. So these are all super good. Sazabis, dual res and plus one to all skills, right? Like these are all pretty solid helmets. I would say any of these could be 
greatly used. In terms of um, gloves, Blood Fist are really nice. Sanders are nice. You can shot some 20 IAS gloves that have bow and crossbow skills or just plus some resistances on them. Uh, Frost Burns wouldn't be the worst thing just to get a lot of mana for this character. That could be super helpful. Laying of Hands could be good. I think we've got those right over here. Fire Res and IAS. That's pretty solid also. In terms of boots, I love Hisaris boots. I love Nat's boots. Alder's boots are great. Shopped boots that you just get some res and faster run walk. Inferno strides. Um, anything really that's just going to have resistances, faster run walk, stats, life. Aim for that. Um, water walks, big life, you know, any of that stuff is super, super good. So that's kind of the stuff that I would say really for like the Boazon budget that you're going to be kind of looking for. You could also do something like Cuckoo Shikaku or, uh, you know, Wizendraw or something like that. Those would be honestly not terrible for this character. On Weapon Swap, it also wouldn't be horrible to have something like a lower resistance one, which you can just shop from Act 2 Nightmare, Act 1 Nightmare. Uh, when you're level 31, I think you have to be minimum. You can just go and shop this and get the charges, and then have this on your offhand. That's super helpful right there. Also for the offhand, I like to have CTA, of course, and then Lidless, because we're not actually running 156 strength, and we can even run less strength. Um, I guess I have to wear a little bit for this 122 if I'm going this set, but still, you don't have to run 156 strength, so you can run this for your CTA. If you want to run the extra strength for it, you totally can. That's up to you. But that pretty much covers the character. Um, in terms of gear and mercenary gear, I would say for a mercenary, I like an Act 2 uh, Might Mercenary. This is going to be the offensive mercenary. This is because Holy Freeze doesn't really matter as much since I'm doing all the cold damage. Um, but it's still okay if you want that. Uh, I like Fortitude, Infinity, and Andes. This just helps for our overall damage. So that's really nice. If you can't get them that, Treachery is nice. Shaft Stop or something is fine. Gladiator's Bane, whatever. For Helmets, you could do Crown of Thieves. You could do Tau Rashes. That's super cheap. Vamp Gaze is super easy. Kira's is nice. For Weapons, Obedience is fine. Reaper's Toll is good. Insight would help with your mana issues. Tomb Reaver, Bone Hue are good damage. So there's really a lot of like options for how you kind of want to build out the Mercenary overall. Um, kind of what the, the gear will be in the character and yada, yada, yada with that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, this is really a fun character to play uh, because you do get to kind of mix and match. So you're running, you know, the exploding arrow to shoot stuff and then you can, you know, fire off your freezing arrows to kill other things. It allows you to have a little more flexibility uh, than you're normally going to have on um, other characters that are going to have a single element, such as just a purely Frost Zon or something like that. So she's really a lot of fun. I really have a good time with her. Uh, would definitely say this is another friendly character, probably an A or B tier character for starting out with, because it's not too gear intensive. And, you know, even something just like running around with Mav set, it's actually not bad. And, you know, I can just sit here and run Exploding Arrow and have a great time. So, you know, you run into Cold Immunes, whatever. So, yeah, run around, shoot stuff, enjoy. Uh, but that is going to be my uh, Frost Fires On guide. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much, YouTube. Peace.